Hello, YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, uh, I thought I'd experiment with something since I'm out here and I've got some space around me. Something I've wanted to experiment with for years. Off and on, through the years, I've read here and there in forums and other places rumblings about ground antennas. Putting an antenna on the ground. And sometimes people say they work great. Sometimes they say they don't work. Um, I've seen some videos where people have talked about ground antennas. And in the uh, one video in particular, uh, the ham had his antenna starting from the deck of his house and draping down to his backyard and then traveling along the ground. And right away, it, it, the thought that occurred to me was, well, a portion of that antenna is suspended up in the air. So it's not really a good test. What I want to do is I want to take a known working antenna configuration that I've used in the air many times before. In my case, it's going to be the good old end fed wire, 9 to 1 un un, with a, a long radiator and then a counterpoise wire. Uh, but instead of putting it up in the air, I'm going to lay it flat on the ground. Uh, all the way from the un un straight out, it's just going to be right on the ground. The only thing that will have any suspension in the air will be the coax going up to the connector on my RV. Uh, but that's shielded, so that should not make much of a difference. Um, so I think it'll be a better test. Uh, it'll be far from a conclusive test. Um, obviously, there's all kinds of variables. Uh, the mineral content of the ground, uh, location, your general elevation, and so on and so forth. I'm presently in the southwest Arizona desert, uh, somewhere a little bit north of Yuma, Arizona. And uh, it's pretty out here. Uh, I really like the geology. I'm surrounded by mountains. It's just, it's beautiful. I've taken a few photos that I probably have th thrown up on the screen at this point. But it does give me some space to uh, play around with some things like this. Uh, back at home, I just didn't have any room to really try that out. Uh, and a lot of noise sources out here, it's much better. So let's go outside and uh, put an antenna out on the ground. And then we'll come back in here and uh, we'll play around on the radio. Um, we'll do some whisper beaconing. And we'll try to make a few QSOs on the antenna tonight uh, on, on the lower bands. Well, all right, I got my antenna laid out. We're out here in the desert. As you can see, mountains all around, other RVers parked out here, lots of space. It's a really cool location, especially over there. Look at the mountains pretty amazing. So hopefully this uh, wind mesh on the mic works. Let me show you what I got. That's my antenna interface box on the back corner of the RV. Now on the top of it is a lug from a 9 to 1 un un and that's presently hooked up to this 15 foot, uh, 16 foot mast and end fed wire with a counterpoise wire running in the channel down the roof line. Others have asked about my antenna. That's what I use most of the time when I'm just parking and wanting to get on the air. This little 16 foot vertical end fed wire does pretty well on 40 meters on up, even up into six meters. At the bottom of the box, there's another SO239 connector. I have a second coax run, and that's for antenna projects just like this. So I've got my coax hooked to that. And it's running down here to the ground along in this rut to over here where I've got under this rock an old LDG box that I have built a 9 to 1 in and I've used this for years at my old house. It held my uh, end fed wire that went over the house and I used on 160 meters and so on. Right now it has a counterpoise wire running off in that direction on the ground, oh, about uh, 30, 35 feet or so. And over in the other direction, I'm um, completely on the ground, running right off that way. You can just see it there shining in the sunlight, is about 98 feet of wire. 
pretty much the same end fed wire that I used at home. Except at home it was up in the air. I'm parked in the camping spot right there that's designated for this area, so this is what I needed to do this test. I needed a big area, lots of open space, and no chance of anybody messing with the wire. So that is the ground antenna. Let's go inside and fire up the radio and see how it behaves. Well, for the first test, I thought that I would use WWV since they broadcast on several frequencies up the spectrum and their signal is fairly consistent. And uh, what we're looking at here is uh, 5 megahertz, obviously, and I'm on the ground antenna at the moment. Now I'm going to take the tuner out of circuit so that we're just raw from the antenna. And as you can see, on 5 megahertz, it's hovering right around S9. So we are picking up signals on the ground antenna. That's pretty good. I'm going to switch over to that shortened 16-foot vertical that's up in the air. And we see an improvement now. We're 10 to 20 over 9. So kind of what I, you know, conventional wisdom. That's kind of what I expected. Um, I didn't think that it's going to perform all that well. But let's, uh, let's go up in frequency to the 10 megahertz station. Now I can just hear WWVH there, the woman's voice in the background. But uh, we're about uh, 20 over 9 peaking. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, let's go to the ground antenna. I expect it'll be a lot worse at the higher frequencies. Not a big change, S9 to 10 over. Okay, here's the vertical, 10 to 20 over. And here's the ground antenna, below to around S9. So yeah, it's, it's worse again than the other uh, vertical antenna. I kind of figured that. All right, oh, tuner's in circuit. Take that out again, let's make sure. So this is the ground antenna. S7, S9, somewhere around there. And there's the vertical, 10 to 20 over. So again, better performance out of the vertical. I expected that. So conventional wisdom is holding up so far. I'm beginning to doubt these claims about ground antennas. Let's go to 15 megahertz. Now it's... Uh, starting to get darker outside. The sun is getting down to the horizon, so the upper frequencies should be dying out. But this is the vertical, and we're hovering around S7. Let's go to the ground antenna. Yeah, much worse. Signal's still there, but not even indicating on the meter. The next thing that I tried was doing some whisper broadcasts. WSPR, Weak Signal Propagation Reporter. And as you can see from these maps, 160 meters up through 40, some stations did copy me in the region, but not very far out and not very many. I'm used to seeing quite a few more. Finally, I spent some time trying to make a QSO on the ground antenna. Kilowatt Bravo 9, Radio Lima Whiskey. Kilowatt Bravo 9, Radio Lima Whiskey. Well, that's been how it goes. I've tried to check into several nets on 80, on 40, and I tried for a few contacts on 160 meters on the ground antenna. And just as I'd expect, and uh, we've now shown, it doesn't work. <laughs> Nobody can hear me. Nobody can hear me at all. Bright sunny morning here in the desert. Starting to warm up. It got down to just below freezing last night. Uh, it's in the upper 40s now, heading up to 50. It's going to get a, be a nice day. Well, for sake of comparison, the ground antenna we saw didn't perform very well. I've converted the antenna into a long sloper. A lot of load on the, sh on the uh, mast. She's bending at an angle. But the wire is now off the ground. 
about the same length of wire out there to an anchor point off the ground the entire way. So we'll compare that uh, and see how the performance is improved over the ground variant. So what can we conclude with our experiments? Well, as you saw from the uh, whisper examples, um, it could be heard. The ground antenna could be heard, but whisper is uh, WSPR, Weak Signal Propagation Reporter, is what that stands for, is an extraordinarily robust protocol, and it takes literally a whisper of a signal for it to be decoded. So I think I did a video a while back where I used a light bulb as an antenna, and I used whisper uh, for it to be heard. <laughs> um, it doesn't take much. Uh, so that aside, I spent the evening uh, with the antenna on 40 and 80 meters trying to check into nets, um, trying to call stations, and I had zero QSOs. Uh, nobody could hear me. Nobody at all. Um, once I put it up as a sloper this morning, uh, getting it up off the ground, it was like shooting fish in a barrel. If I could hear them, I could work them. I've had no problems at all <laughs> being heard. Uh, and I did a little quick whisper transmission on 40. Now it's it's morning. Um, it's the other side of the gray line. You know, it, the propagation is different, but as expected, with 500 milliwatts, a whole bunch of stations copied me. Uh, so, you know, it was definitely obviously getting out better. Now, the mineral content in the ground probably makes a difference. Um, some of you are probably already reaching for the comment uh, uh, section for that. Uh, the ground out here is going to be heavily mineralized. Um, and that probably makes a big difference. One of my uh, viewers, Craig, uh, made a comment about uh, sand dunes and sand being mostly silica. And if you laid the antenna up at the top of a sand dune, it would be probably not much different from having it up in the air that high. And that may very well be. Uh, sand is mostly silica or glass, so it shouldn't affect the RF as much, you would think. Um, but of course, the mineral content uh, in the sand is going to make a difference again, too. So there's a lot of variables that can come into play. Uh, you'd have to travel around to many different areas and soil types and reproduce the same experiment to see if the results are consistent. But I would still expect, as conventional wisdom, wisdom would dictate, that the antenna laying on the ground is just not going to perform nearly as well as an antenna up in the air. One arena that might be interesting to look into uh, would be VLF um, or ELF, very low frequency, uh, below 40 kilohertz. Um, I'm sure that there would be a difference there uh, since that's mostly ground wave propagation anyway, but I don't have the equipment to, uh, to make such a test. But as far as uh, regular old HF use, um, an antenna laying on the ground, it works okay for reception but you're probably not going to get out uh, transmitting. Um, it's, not, uh, it's not magic. It's uh, pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Of course, as I said, this is just one test. There's still a lot of variables to be addressed and a lot more tests that would have to be done for any serious investigation into the potential of a ground antenna. So there you go. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.